<laughs> and you even got my nose right, too. How long have you been watching me, little rabbit? How long have you been hiding this from me? Phoebe? Are you in there? <sighs> yeah, Mom. What is it? There's someone outside for you. Who is it? Not sure. You know, I don't know any of your little friends. After you get done dealing with them, make sure you get ready for the memorial. Another one? But we just hosted a charity gala two weeks ago. Well, it's for your sister, Phoebe. So you're going to go whether you like it or not. <laughs> of course it is. <sighs> Look, Phoebe. I know how hard all of this is for you. After all, she was your twin. But we need to show a united front. People are already starting to talk about how our family has fallen apart. The investors- So that's what all of this nonsensical gaudy events are about. Making sure the investors don't pull out of dad's deals because one of his daughters died in an accident? My god. <laughs> I knew the two of you would capitalize on anything and everything, but never in a million years did I think you'd do it to one of your own children. I guess my expectations were just a bit too high, huh, Mom? Well, this so-called capitalization you speak of is what affords the roof over your head and your tuition, so you could stand to be a bit more grateful. That line might have worked on Sophie, but it will not work on me. If you don't want my ungrateful self around, then kick me out. See if I care. Why does everything have to be a cat fight with you? Tell me. What can I do? What can I do to make this better for you? What can I do to mend our relationship? Because I've tried. So hard, Phoebe. I've tried so hard to reach out to you, to support you, after everything was said and done, but you- But I what? Huh? What did I do? What did I do other than think that you and Dad throwing some extravagant parties so the two of you can talk to some investors and potential partners right after your daughter died is so wrong? You never even went to her grave after the funeral! Oh, stop it with your holier-than-thou attitude, as if you didn't neglect your sister's existence when she was alive. That's different. Different? Or is it just denial? I'm not doing this with you right now. Hold it. We're not done yet. Do you want me to get rid of the little past waiting on the doorstep so we can make your stupid event or not? Because I'd be more than happy to waste all of our time if it meant not attending. <sighs> Fine. Go. What are you- <sighs> I thought I'd hold you to never show your face around here again. I don't care if you're here to get your sketchbook back. You're not supposed to be here. My phone. I didn't even notice. Thanks, I guess. But if you think this is going to get you your sketchbook back, you're mistaken. <laughs> no, I don't have any plans for it. Just yet. But, considering all of the grief you put me through, this is the least you could do for me. What? Do I have something on my face? My mascara. <sighs> no, don't worry about it. It's fine. No, I wasn't crying nosy. I just didn't take my makeup off after the night before. Couldn't be bothered. Got home at an ungodly hour, completely wasted, so it wasn't even worth it to try. <laughs> Until I decide to give it back to you, little rabbit. Until I decide to give it back to you. <laughs> Don't pout, little rabbit. Otherwise, I think you'll want to kiss. Don't get all flustered on me now. You're cute, but 
just because you have a pretty face doesn't mean you can start demanding answers. <sighs> well, since you've put me in a relatively less crappy mood, I guess some honesty can be afforded. <sighs> I'll stop dangling what happened to Sophie over your head after and only after you tell me what really happened that night at the party. Don't give me that look, little rabbit. You knew this was coming. You knew the only reason why any of this is happening is due to your lack of honesty. And I know all the whispers and rumors circulating around campus about you and Sophie aren't true. But I can't help but think otherwise. Unless you tell me what happened. No one saw what happened. We only witnessed the aftermath. You are the only person who can exonerate yourself, so either come clean, or we can continue this dangerous stance the two of us became entangled in. <laughs> I thought not. Well... Hmm. A reward for returning my phone and for making me look half-decent in your sketches. <laughs> what? You expected me to spoil you with one on the lips. <sighs> oh, and those sweet lips have spewed nothing but lies and deceit. As I said, little rabbit, all of this, every single bit of this, will go away once you tell me the truth. You can't or you won't. <sighs> then I suppose this stance of ours is going to go on for a very, very long time. Now, get lost. I have a memorial to go to. Oh good, you got my text. <laughs> A little rabbit. If you didn't think I was capable of finding multiple ways to get your number by now, then I must not be doing my job correctly. Here. Your sketchbook. Considering the amount of courage you had to muster up to drag yourself to my doorstep just to get it back, I figured I might as well throw you a bone and give it to you. Free of charge. There's one missing, is there? <laughs> Could it perhaps be this one? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. No. Out of all the sketches you did, this one's my favorite. And seeing as I am the muse for basically every single one of the pieces in that book of yours, I think I'm entitled to some form of compensation. <laughs> So, I think I'll keep this one. No, why ever not? <laughs> because this one's your favorite too. Hmm. Why won't you tell me about what really happened that night? I think I deserve to know what really happened to my sister. I thought that you intentionally hurt her until I saw those sketches, so tell me. Or at the very least, tell me why you won't tell me. But why not? Why would it hurt so much? How could telling me what happened that night be so much worse than what you're going through right now? How am I meant to get over this? How am I meant to forgive you if you don't talk to me? What are you talking about? Why? No. 
No, you don't. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve any of this. I've seen how miserable you look every single damn day at that school. And yes, part of that is on me, and I won't apologize for it, but I can make it better. I can't make it all go away if you just tell me. But why? Why do you want to be punished? Why do you want to live in this cycle of torment? What did you do? Oh, Rabbit. Listen here, and listen well, because I'm only going to say this once. If you truly believe that you deserve everything you've been getting at school, then you are the dumbest little brat I've ever had the misfortune of meeting. But you don't. I know the shit everyone has been saying about you. I know the shit everyone has been pulling on you, and you don't deserve that. You are mine to torment, and mine alone. And I'll be damned to let anyone else take that away from me. Your attention has strayed from me for far too long, and it's still being taken from me by a dead girl, no less. You're mine, little rabbit. No one else is. Mine to punish, mine to bend, mine to break, and most importantly, all mine to put back together.